Today, we'll unravel the captivating story of planetary formation, from gas and dust to fully developed worlds. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Our adventure begins in vast clouds of gas and dust in space, known as nebulae. These cosmic nurseries are the cradles of star and planet formation. Nebulae such as the iconic Orion Nebula are composed mainly of hydrogen and helium with trace amounts of heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. These elements are essentially the building blocks of everything in the known universe. But where do these nebulae come from? Often, they form from the remnants of dying stars. When a massive star reaches the end of its life cycle, it can end with a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. This mighty blast scatters the star's outer layers into space. These scattered remnants then coalesce to form new nebulae, continuing the cycle of stellar life and death. As gravity takes the lead, these clouds begin to collapse under their own weight, a process known as gravitational collapse. This marks the birth of a protostar, a young star that is still gathering mass from its parent nebula. This infant star is just starting to glow with potential. As the nebula collapses further, it forms a spinning disk of gas and dust around the protostar, known as a protoplanetary disk. This disk is the birthplace of planets. Think of it as a cosmic whirlpool where gravity and collisions play key roles in shaping its structure. Within this protoplanetary disk, tiny dust particles begin to stick together through a process called accretion. Over time, these particles clump together to form larger bodies known as planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. It's like rolling a snowball. The more it rolls, the more material it gathers. Gravity then pulls in more material, causing these planetesimals to grow even larger. As they continue to collide and merge, they form protoplanets, the precursors to fully developed planets. Imagine a chaotic dance of cosmic collisions, leading to the birth of new worlds. As protoplanets take shape, they undergo a process called planetary differentiation. This is when heavier elements sink to the core, forming a dense center, while lighter elements create the mantle and crust. In the outer solar system, we see the gas and ice giants, which likely have a solid core, but are mostly composed of gases in their outer layers, with lighter elements floating to the outside. This layering is crucial in shaping a planet's structure and geological activity. Meanwhile, planetary atmospheres begin to form as protoplanets capture gases from the surrounding protoplanetary disk. Factors such as distance from the star and the composition of the disk influence how these atmospheres evolve. For example, closer to the star, you might find rocky planets with thin atmospheres, while farther away, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn dominate. Planets can also develop an atmosphere from the planet itself through a process called outgassing, where gases from the planet's interior are released over time. Impacts can also release gases from a planet's surface and contribute to the formation of an atmosphere. Beyond our own solar system, astronomers have discovered a plethora of exoplanets orbiting distant stars. These discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of planetary formation. Exoplanets come in a dazzling variety of types, from massive gas giants to Earth-like rocky worlds, each offering unique insights into the mysteries of other solar systems. These distant worlds provide valuable clues about how planets form and the potential for life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore the universe, we inch closer to answering one of humanity's greatest questions. Are we alone in the vast expanse of space? I know one thing for certain, I am very grateful to be able to experience life in this vast universe here with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this cosmic journey. I'm glad to have you here. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to this amazing community for your ongoing support. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button and share this video with other curious minds. 
Your support truly goes a long way and helps others find and enjoy these adventures through space. I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to join me on more adventures like this one, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.